average American now carries 23 extra pounds. Heart disease and stroke will claim the lives of 460,000 American women. 69 grams of fat. You could actually save 12 grams of the fat and half the calories if you simply ate an entire stick of butter. We're talking about diabetes and hypertension and bone diseases, osteoporosis. Prostate cancer is now the most common cancer in American men. Doctors say we really need to eat less red and processed meat. On arteriosclerosis and cancer and autoimmune disease. We have unprecedented amount of type 2 diabetes in our children and we're starting to see hypertension in our children in grammar school. In case you're wondering, 2,120 calories. Clearly, the Western diet is taking a toll. This should serve as a wake-up call. We have a growing problem, and the ones who are growing are us. Someone has to stand up and say that the answer isn't another pill. The answer is spinach. A growing number of researchers claim that if we eliminate or greatly reduce refined, processed, and animal-based foods, we can prevent, and in certain cases, even reverse several of our worst diseases. During the 1960s, heart disease was on the rise in the U.S. What doctors commonly call coronary artery disease is usually caused by a condition of the arteries that supply the heart with blood. What happens is that over time, a fatty substance in the bloodstream called cholesterol builds up in the coronary arteries, restricting the blood flow to the heart. This can ultimately cause several problems, from severe chest pain called angina to heart attacks. Cholesterol is a natural substance produced by all animals, including humans, and it's an essential component of our cell's walls. But when we consume dietary cholesterol, which is only found in animal foods like meat, eggs, and dairy products, it tends to stay in the bloodstream. This so-called plaque is what collects on the inside of our blood vessels and is the major cause of coronary artery disease. Just like the Indian researchers, Campbell fed half the rats in his study a diet of 20% casein, the main protein in dairy products. The other half was fed only 5% casein. Over the 12 weeks of the study, the rats eating the higher protein diet had a greatly enhanced level of early liver cancer tumor growth. On the other hand, all of the rats eating only 5% protein had no evidence of cancer whatsoever. The New York Times called it the most comprehensive large study ever undertaken of the relationship between diet and the risk of developing disease. For Dr. Campbell, he finally had large-scale data on people, and it was remarkably consistent with his earlier discoveries. Together, he found that the scientific evidence was clear. Whole plant-based foods were beneficial to human health, while animal-based foods were not. Osteoporosis is a degenerative bone disease, which has been widely linked to a lack of calcium. If this is true, nations with a high intake of dairy products, which are a major source of calcium in a westernized diet, should have low levels of osteoporosis. But according to a study done by a distinguished Harvard researcher, nations with high levels of calcium intake tend to have high levels of hip fractures, which is a key indicator for osteoporosis. And so, in fact, the higher the dairy consumption, the higher the rate of osteoporosis, exactly the opposite of what the dairy industry has been telling us for so long. One of the primary mechanisms for that is that animal protein tends to create an acid-like condition in the body called metabolic acidosis. To combat this condition, the body draws upon its most readily available acid buffer, namely calcium in our bones. As the calcium is extracted to neutralize the excess acid, our bones are weakened. The greatest gift that you could possibly give to yourself and your family, not only those in your generation, but your children and your grandchildren, if you can make them be aware of the incredible power that resides within each of them to avoid life's most poignantly tragic and painful events. You just don't have to have those kinds of events. Well, I believe that with all my heart, if anyone listened to this, and they really should look at their refrigerator and look at their diet and give a try, you lose weight and you'll be healthier. Nothing could lose 
if you just take a few weeks and try it, you could see how easy it is. I'm not going to say it was difficult. Again, I made up my mind, this is what I'm going to do. I never felt like I wasn't getting what I wanted. So I didn't have ice cream, so I didn't have the donuts, so I ate something else. I can thank them in every way I can think possible, and my doctor, especially Matt, when they just can't understand what it's done to change my life. And it really has, not just mine, my family's, everybody's. It gives me shivers talking about it because it's so serious. It's a life-changing experience. You can be in control. And I stress this because there's so many things going on in my life that I'm not in control of. And that's my message. You can't control your outcome of your body. Eat to live and don't live to eat. Let's get that.